I'm one of the women's health physiotherapists and I'd like to give you some advice on how to recover after the birth of your baby. The best way to do this is to balance gentle exercises with rest and a very gradual return to your usual activities. The muscles that have weakened through the pregnancy and birth of your baby are the abdominal and pelvic floor muscles, so it's really important not to strain these muscles until they're fully recovered. You can start to do gentle pelvic floor and abdominal exercises as soon as it's comfortable to do them, usually one to two weeks after the birth of your baby, even if you've had stitches or a caesarean section. If you're still needing painkillers, please be careful not to do too much. These exercises are described in the postnatal advice leaflet. Some women find the NHS Squeezy app useful to remind them to do the pelvic floor exercises, but remember to start very gently. It's normal for the abdominal muscles to stretch up to 5 cm apart at the end of pregnancy, but this should return to about 2 cm or less by 6 weeks postnatal. To allow this recovery, try to avoid any activity which causes your abdominal muscles to bulge or dome, such as sitting straight up from lying on your back. Try rolling onto your side and using your arms to push yourself up into the sitting position. If your muscles are more than 5 cm apart at the birth of your baby, or more than 2 cm apart at 6 weeks postnatal, you may have a divarication or diastasis. Ask your GP, midwife or health visitor for a referral to physiotherapy. It's important to give your pelvic floor muscles time to recover after the birth of your baby, particularly if you've had a vaginal birth. For the first few weeks after you have your baby, Pottering around at home is good for the circulation, but try not to be on your feet for too long. Try and have a lie down rest in the day if you can. Minimise heavy lifting, pushing or pulling for the first few weeks. The weight of your baby is fine, but baby in a car seat is probably too much for the first two weeks. Try not to strain when you're on the toilet. Eat plenty of fibre, drink lots of fluid and don't delay the urge to poo. Some people find putting their feet on a step when they're on the toilet will help them relax. A warning sign that you may be putting too much strain on your pelvic floor is any pain, heaviness or bulging in the vagina or the perineum. Try and avoid any activity that is causing this as you may be at risk of a vaginal prolapse. A warning sign that your pelvic floor muscles may be weak is any urgency or leaking from your bladder or bowel. In either of these situations, make sure that you do your pelvic floor exercises three times a day and refer yourself to physiotherapy. For the first three months, you can focus on working your pelvic floor exercises and progressing your walking or cycling, but always be aware of the warning signs. If you would like to do higher level of activities, which include running, jumping, strong abdominal exercises or weights, it's advisable to wait at least three months and start very gradually. If you balance gentle exercises with rest and a gradual return to your usual activities, you should recover well. But the Women's Health Physiotherapy team are here to help you if you need it. There's lots of information on the My Pregnancy app or the hospital websites.